Welcome back to Suladan Place, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Last time I turned... Oh, that's right, it's paused. I was going to run through there and point at some stuff and say I turned off some energy fields that may have set off a catastrophic cascade failure that may or may not blow up this entire place with me in it. But look, another droid. And I have stun droid. It's also mine. Oh, that's, that's just a maintenance droid. I want to recover the mines. I must recover the mines. They are mine. They will forever be mine. Stun droid. Stun droid. Stun droid again? There we go. I don't know what happened to your friend. He just spontaneously exploded. Don't you fight me. I didn't do nothing. Leave me alone. Still question why they got big old gun spiders wandering this place. That looks like a big old laserum gun. It's a spider. Gun spider. Why can't I move? Thank you, game. No, 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 not critical strike. I remember my folly in this. Just attack it normally. I also took off my second sword because it was messing with my accuracy. For reasons. Uh, let's do that. Oh, excavator. I thought it said elevator droid, and I was going to be very concerned for my safety. I'll just be taking this. I'll just be looting this. You cannot unlock it. Fine. I hear background move. Well, you going to blow up now. Yes, now loot. Why are there two piles of credits and so much stuff in here? Thankfully, it didn't blow half of it up, but I didn't see what the message said. I'm too busy looting bodies. More money. Hi. 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 It's so nice when you can actually hit things. And I got a level up. And I got an ion charger. What do I do with an ion charger? I don't know. I'm gonna level up though. Level up. Attributes. Hmm. Hmm. I know wisdom and intelligence will help me with force thingums. But strength will make me hit harder. I'm gonna go with wisdom for now. It'll bite me later, but you know, reasons. See, I got points. Security. Persuade. No, repair is a two points thing. Awareness. Yes. Powers. Can I do second level stun? I cannot. Second level that? I cannot. And what other powers are? They're mind trick. No. Dark side power, dark side power. Throw lightsaber was apparently something that would have been useful in the last game, but... Uh, force push. Uh, shock. Fear. Which one have I clicked? Um, dark side, dark side, stun droid. Ah, that's the one I need. Yeah, we need to start building up our, uh, our stun abilities in general. Oh, add power. I now have the ability to stun not droids. Excellent. There's a door. Oh, there's the turbo lift. Okay. This was an uneventful voyage. I'm concerned by how uneventful it was. Just laser spiders. Meh. Or an explosion. That happened in front of me and I rolled through it. I'm concerned by that. I'm concerned by him, but I want his goggles. I mean, he's dead, so nobody's gonna notice if I just take his goggles. Oh, hi, um. Greeting. It is a pleasure to see you alive, master. Provided my receptors are not off focus. How may I be of assistance? Hmm. 
HK47, did you fall in a vat of silver paint? Uh. How do you know me? I'm not your master. Answer. I am a survivor of the Harbinger, just as you were master. With the unexpected termination of my previous master, you are the only organic which I may now serve. Okay, who was your previous master? Answer, the captain of the Harbinger, Master. I was in transit to Telos to facilitate communications and terminate hostilities. However, we did not arrive at our intended destination. What happened? Irritated answer. Oh, Master, it is such a long, dull story, and not terribly relevant to our current situation. Why don't you tell me anyway? Hesitant explanation. That has been the subject of considerable discussion since our arrival here, Master. Many have attempted to claim you and this unit as salvage. I was crudely interrogated concerning our brief history together on board the Harbinger, before its communications, weapons, and engines suffered the cascade failure that disabled the ship. Where was I when this was taking place? Speculation. It is possible you were incapacitated and locked in the well-shielded cargo compartment as the Harbinger was being systematically crippled, Master. Uh-huh. Did you lock me in a cargo container while you systematically crippled the Avon Hawk? I get the feeling that you did. I want to know why you did. As long as the answer doesn't result in you shooting me. Incapacitated. Clarification. Yes, Master. No doubt the flurry of destruction on board the Harbinger somehow drugged you into a stupor from which you could not awaken. Most curious. You drugged me. You drugged me. Drugged? What do you mean drugged? Implication. Merely a turn of phrase, Master. The implication that your state was due to the result of ingesting large quantities of Juma juice was unintentional. I meant to communicate only that you were I was right, aren't I? unconscious before you were locked securely in the cargo hold. Care to explain how I was locked in the cargo hold? Clarification. By locked, I meant sealed, Master. My vocabulator seems to be malfunctioning. Uh huh. How did I get from there to here? Recitation. Following the unusual set of coincidences that led to the cascade failure in the Harbinger systems, we were boarded by a small freighter with unknown ID codes. It appeared that this freighter had been attacked, and the captain wanted to study it. This freighter appeared to be still spaceworthy. Your cargo compartment was breached, and you were taken on board the freighter shortly before the Harbinger systems began to go critical. I, too, managed to board the freighter before the Harbinger's destruction. We were most fortunate to have survived, Master. I forgot the Harbinger and Ebon Hawk are two different things. I thought he was speaking in code. I remembered, eventually. Um, what was the... Wait, no, why would that have happened? Any idea what attacked the small freighter? Evaluation. Master, I do not know. Judging from the damage, it had been attacked by a much larger vessel. Mm. And when it attempted to escape the Harbinger with you on board, it was fired on again. Addendum. It does seem odd that such a small vessel has a high probability of attracting the attention of much larger vessels. Not a welcome trait in a freighter, to be sure. What was this freighter? Explanation. I believe it was a smuggler's vessel by the name of the Ebon Hawk. Speculation. As to its purpose, I do not know. Perhaps it was always its intention to play dead, then kidnap you off the Harbinger and rob me of my bounty. Uh-huh. Bounty? Clarification. By bounty, I refer to your life, Master. It would pain me to see you damaged in any way. That is why the arrival of this Ebon Hawk caused me considerable distress. Uh huh. But why would that ship have taken me off the Harbinger? Apology. 
My memory core cannot provide a clear answer on that point, Master. Suffice to say that once we arrived at this floating rock, our situation became much clearer. How so? Explanation. Despite my market value, Master, the miners were far more interested in you. It did not take long for me to ascertain the reason for this. While an HK protocol droid is a valuable piece of property, Jedi are worth much more in certain exclusive markets across the galaxy. Painful admission. I must confess to feelings of inferiority at the speculated difference between my value and the price for your capture. I was forced to remind myself it was not due to a failing of my model or function, but because you were a Jedi. What if we made an HK unit a Jedi, though? All I've got to do is put the robes on you, and then you're instantly a Jedi. What do you mean I don't have robes? Um, well, how did they find out I was a Jedi? Surprised answer. Why, I told them, Master. You are the exiled Jedi who served with Revan in the Mandalorian Wars, are you not? I hope all that has happened has not been the result of a miscommunication. If so, then the problem lies with the core word databases, which are notoriously spotty. Unpleasantness? I don't remember you saying unpleasantness, but what? Answer. All that has happened has been because they believe you to be a Jedi Master. They debated what to do with you as you lay unconscious in the medical bay. One group seemed intent on selling you as property. The other group opposed this. Then what happened? Three standard hours after the division between the miners became apparent, accidents began to occur throughout the facility. A result of improper maintenance, I believe. Uh -huh. These accidents coincided with the degradation of the mining droid behavioral cores. Crude models are prone to such failures resulting in murderous rampages. The mortality rate of organics in the facility rose quickly. So what happened to the rest of the miners? Many miners began to join you in the medical bay as a cascade of flawlessly timed detonations occurred in isolated gas pockets in the lower levels of the facility. The explosions herded the miners into emergency sections of the station quickly and efficiently, cutting them off from communications and facility control. But sadly enough, not the ventilation systems. See, it sounds to me like he's the one doing all these things and he's trying real hard not to brag about it. But that's the HK we all know and love. I'm going to call you not HK. Just like not Karth up there in the... Uh control room place. Anyway, sadly enough, what do you mean? You see, the explosions had damaged specific sections of this facility's ventilation systems, causing a slow, lethal buildup of toxic fumes in the dormitory level. Are there any left alive? Answer. I do not know, Master. Ironically enough, any miner that fled to the dormitory level to protect themselves from the droids and the explosions would find themselves in a gas-filled death trap. I really wanted to ask whether you were the one that had done it. Then I need to get in there to rescue them. We'll try that. It is unlikely any miners remain alive. As I said, the dormitory has been cut off from the rest of the facility, as has the hangar bay. There is no escape. Hmm. Can we try to contact them? Apology. Unfortunately, communication with the dormitory section is severed, Master. It is perhaps for the best, especially if any other accidents have occurred in that section. If that were the case, the severed comm link would have spared us the satisfaction of hearing the miners' screams as they lived out their last moments in fear and terror. Uh-huh. Satisfaction? Rapid retraction. Why? Yes, satisfaction in knowing their fate, Master. It would be unfortunate if they had been slaughtered, but there would be a calm, comforting certainty that there is nothing we can do to escape until a ship arrives. Uh-huh. Must be a way to reach them. Theory. 
You could walk across the surface of the asteroid to the dormitory airlock, but such a route would be extremely hazardous, and I do not wish to see you damaged. I... Hmm, I'm kind of tempted to say the latter just, just because I know that's what he wants to hear. <laughs> I, the miners could be hurt. Okay, I can't. I, I, I really want to say the other one, but. Warning. Master, continued exploration of this facility may place you in unnecessary danger. I encourage you to return to the medical bay and wait for retrieval from a vessel that is no doubt on the way, even as we continue this pointless conversation. Uh-huh. I'm gonna find those miners and you're gonna help me. Weary resignation. Very well, master. But there is very little that I can do. You see, the airlock is sealed by a code. Okay, and how do I get that code? Correction. Oh, I already possess the code, Master, but I am afraid that it will do you no good. Uh, what do you mean by that? Condescending explanation. Master, the console governing the droid maintenance area and the airlock is voice printed, musing. In the last days of his life, the maintenance officer was quite careful about voice protocols bordering on paranoid obsession. Conjecture. I suspect once he realized something was wrong in the facility, he voice locked the droid bay functions. A prudent measure, but in the end, he met the same fate as the rest of the organics. What's going on with that door back there? Voice printed? Yes, that means it only works if the code is spoken by the correct voice. Explanation. Yes, Master. Many consoles have voice recognition sensors built into their systems so that only selected individuals can unlock them. Hmm, but you have the code. Condescending explanation. Oh, yes, Master. The code is Maintenance Control Voice Print ID R1B5. But unless the maintenance officer speaks the code, it is useless. Hmm. If the maintenance officer is dead, how do we get him to speak the code? Answer. Master, you cannot. You are trapped here just as I am. There is nothing to do except patiently wait for whatever the future has in store for us. Hmm. I have more questions. Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? Ten to one, that was all just one branch of conversation. Oh my goodness. Have you seen a C3 unit? Hesitant answer. Ah, a T3 utility droid would be a common sight in this facility. It is indeed curious that I have not seen many since my arrival. However, I feel I must inform you that droid prejudice aside. T3 models exhibit excessive individualism when not routinely memory wiped. This individualism can become such a nuisance that even a droid such as myself is tempted to reduce them to their base components, if not crush them into slag. But enough of my seemingly irrelevant tangent. Where did you leave the droid, Master? That would logically be the best place to look. The unit was last seen near the hangar. Answer. Ah, then that would explain why such a T3 unit isn't here, Master. I believe my photoreceptors are functioning adequately enough to verify that. Hmm, maybe you can answer something else for me. Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? Why well, have that and the I have more questions option if they're both the same? You know what? They're just two different ways of saying the same thing. That's the, just whatever. How do you know? What are you? Proud answer. I am an HK series protocol droid master, skilled in transorganic relations and communications. This mod has been responsible for the facilitation of communications and termination of hostilities across the galaxy. I am fluent in over 6,000 forms of communication and I'm also capable of nuances of expression ranging from irony to veiled threats. Hmm. 
Veiled threats, you say? With clarification. Oh, yes, Master. Sometimes the facilitation of communications and termination of hostilities requires the use of every weapon in one's verbal arsenal. The unspoken threat of violence to a listener's loved ones, or if possible, their entire planet, can effectively break the deadlock in the most stubborn of negotiations. Uh-huh. Well, what are you doing on Paragus? Irritated explanation. That question has been looping through my query module with alarming frequency, Master, and no satisfactory answer has been forthcoming. As a result, I have chosen instead to turn my efforts to answering the question as to how I may depart this drifting disaster area as quickly as possible. Aha, uh -huh. and what have you determined? Answer. It is only a matter of time before a ship or freighter docks with the Paragus facility. When that occurs, we shall depart this place forever. Okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm taking him with me. Condescending retraction. I believe you will do your best, Master. This facility would have to be nailed down with a droid-level precision to prevent your escape. I have some more questions. Of course, Master. Uh... Are you sure you haven't seen a T3 unit? Accessing memory. Ah, yes. I believe you've asked this question before, Master. Let me see if I, I can recite to see if the it would be different. I provided the first time. Oh, yes. It was, where did you leave the droid, Master? If you are looking for garbage, it would be best to ask a custodial unit, not a translation droid. The unit was last seen near the hangar. Answer. Ah. Okay, we've seen that. Answer something of else. Course. What's that body there? Answer. That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end, he was quite incoherent from the pain, and attempts to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I heard his dying screams as the droids he tended turned on him, mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. Screams? Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, burning through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone with it! Oh, oh no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're burning through my leg! Oh, stop! Stop, please! Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations in Decibel Master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. Yeah, I kind of figured this is where this is going. If you can play back his voice, why can't you speak the voice code? Probably because he's playing back a recording, so he would need to have heard him say the code and not generate the recording on his own, but... Objection. Master, to commit such an act would be in violation of the ah. ethics programming most droids are believed to possess. I am afraid there is nothing that can be done. Believed to possess? The fact you could mimic voices is pretty impressive. What would it I really put believed to possess? Irritated statement. Master, if you insist on echoing everything I say, this already tedious conversation is in danger of becoming even longer. Clarification. But yes, most droids are believed to possess ethics programming. Such programming would prevent me from using my incredible talents to break a voice print code. Sounds to me like he does a very good job at phrasing himself so that he's not technically lying, but he's lying. Like, I, we're believed to possess ethics programming. It's like, so you don't. Uh, the fact that you can mimic voices is impressive. What would it sound like if you did speak the code? Proud answer. Master, I believe my vocabulator is working adequately enough to accommodate your request. A recitation. Maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. There. Was that sufficient, Master? <laughs> Can you follow me and say that again? Alarmed objection. Oh, Master, no. I might inadvertently speak such a command near a console and accidentally unlock something I shouldn't. 
I was merely speaking such to prove to you <laughs> that I could. It is a trait I'm quite proud of. Huh. Looks like I'll need to find some way to carry your voice there or record it. Sure, let's tell him that. Confused query. I am sorry, Master. Were you speaking to yourself? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had some other questions I wanted to ask you. Of course, Master. Oops. I clicked at the wrong place. How do I get in the hangar bay again? Recitation. You need to open the airlock and use the construction scaffolding on the exterior of the asteroid to make your way to the dormitory section. Of course, for that, you would need to unlock the maintenance console. And without the maintenance officer to speak the voice print protocol, that is impossible. Ah, okay, I'll keep looking. I b b b camera, do not, what are, what are you? The game does not like the camera in this room. I don't understand what happened, but now it's working. Maybe I pushed a button wrong. Also, loot. Why couldn't we sit at the fancy table during this long conversation? What's in here? Is there loot? <gasps> loot. Protocol droids finished work Sonic imprint. Installed them in mining droids, locking up the original to prevent miners from using his ability to record playback voices. Oh, I see. I see. Where'd it go? Didn't I loot it? Um. Sonic imprint sensor. Did I get a sonic imprint sensor? I don't know. Components. Component. Do I need to make one? I think the game wants me to make one. Create an item. Nope. Um. Do I need? I figured I would need to equip it, but. Sonic imprint sensor. Oh, you just need it in your inventory. And yes, I'm clicking them. Are you happy now? We don't need a repeat of the last game where everything in the world was a new item. Horrible things happen. Oh, HK. It is a pleasure to see you intact, Master. Well, that was spooky. Greeting. It is a pleasure to see you intact, Master. Okay. Can you play back the maintenance officer's last words? Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids burning through the outer door. They're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone... That... He didn't say the code oh, in this. Why am I having him repeat this? Oh, my leg! They're burning through my leg! Oh, stop! Stop, please! Addendum. His remains... Yes, yes. Can't you speak the voice code? Object. We've done... Uh, Persuade plus Sonic Sensor. Proud answer. A recitation. Maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. There. Was that sufficient, Master? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Excellent. Confused query. Never mind. You don't, you don't need to know. Uh, also, what's up with this door doing the thing? Greetings. Oh, that's the turbo loop. Why do you keep saying that? You know what? I have questions, but right now I'm being shot. And something exploded. One of you spiders chucked a rock at me, and that rock exploded. And I disapprove of exploding rocks being chucked at me. Y'all better be lootable. Y'all better be- why are you not lootable? You get lightning zapped for that. I don't care if you avoided the sp Why 
Why is the universe exploding? Oh, hi, what are you? Ah, uh, HK, have you been building friends? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see what's behind this damaged door by stabbing it with metal. Well, this is gonna take forever, isn't it? Fine, we'll use a mine. Oh, and we used one of the deadly ones. Did I stop him before he actually used it? Mine or Sonic Mine, much better. There we go. I tried. Fine, do I have to? Does the quality of the mine affect the success chance? Excuse me. Okay, game. What what are, what what are you messing with here? Save. About to use every mine I've got. Ah. Uh, hi. Well, I don't know what's happening, but I made it into the room, and I found a flying ball flying ball exploded. Are you legitimately telling me there's nothing in here? Ow! Where are you coming from? Stop lighting me on fire, it's rude. Y'all owe me a lot of landmines. I don't know anymore. Should I... Should I go through there? But there's there's a whole area over here. Presumably the game wants me to go here, but... Oh, there's so much. Maintenance station. What am I maintenancing? Maintenance control, voice print ID, R1B5. Open door to airlock. Return uh, com maintenance logs. Finish the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. Ah. Finish my examination of the droids from the Ebonhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so. There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. Been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi in Medbay. I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy. And that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. Maybe the Jedi knows what happened to Revan after the end of the Jedi Civil War. Been too busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents since that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Korda. Korda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights and that we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shaddaa. Security shot down that idea pretty quick, but I don't think Korda and his men are gonna give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid, and he seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't... No. With the protocol droid's help, I made some upgrades to the sonic imprint sensor, using some of the droid's vocabulator subroutines. In addition to its ability to store and record voices, it now has the droid's full array of alien languages, including BASIC. Should prove useful as a portable translator. 
I tried to make sure the protocol unit got some credit for helping fashion it, but the droid refused, saying the work was reward enough. I was thinking of installing the prototype in one of the mining droids as a test and see what happens. I can speak all the languages now. When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I installed a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter, but I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. Mm-hmm. Ah, I see. The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids and they weren't too happy with my answers. I understand it though. These aren't combat models. They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance and then did something to them? I think security's right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility and they're using the droids to do it. But why? Alright, sometimes it's a good way to get all the all the machines in one place so you can do something. Anyway, log out. No main console functions. Maintenance logs. It's emergency subroutines. Uh, I do. Oh my goodness. Uh, containment field. I don't know. Check for trace source of breach. I don't know. There's too many buttons. I, I can't be bothered to read all that. Can I unlock you? Thank you. over here. Another door. A box full of basket. Those are flying mines. Ah, uh, excuse me. Laughing at me while you explode. Well, it stinks for you. I can explode you at range. Anyway, I'm going this way now. Because I know the other way is the way forward, because that's the airlock I just opened. And HK doesn't know what's going on, so he can stay over there. It's probably not going to let me go this way, I see. Well, that didn't work. I could use the workstation to craft stuff, but I already have a sword, so why would I need to craft stuff? I know it's technically not a sword, it's for mining rocks, which doesn't make logic, but... You know what? It doesn't have to, because I have a sword. Surprised there wasn't four of you, though. Or I miscounted. Airlock. Wait, where does that other turbo lift go? Let's go see where that goes. The administration level. I'm gonna go see Notkarth. I think this leads to Notkarth. Hey, Notkarth, where you at? Hi. I found a thing. Glad you survived the tunnels. Find anything when you were down there? You can talk to me outside of cutscenes. Sorcery, I say. Found anything? Found a talkative protocol droid down in the fuel depot. Yeah? Did you blow it up? No, why would I do that? Because droids can't be trusted. The miners may still be alive, but they're trapped in the dorm section. So they are still alive. But the dormitory comm isn't picking up anything. Is there any way to get to them? I need to open it. I've got the airlock open. Voice print? Great. That means he'd have to speak the code. And he's dead, right? Uh, I'll return if I find anything. Because I have the voice print and the door's already open. But the game doesn't seem to accommodate for that fact. I guess I could have come here before I figured all that out and then he would have hinted it if I wandered around the conversation enough. But alas, I already have it all open. I guess if I was inpatient, didn't talk to HK, came over here, found the voice thing, went back to him. Storage locker. Oh, wanted to see it let me try. Oh look, a space suit. Please be better than the uh, previous space suit. 
I like that I'm faster, but I feel like I'm waddling and like the animation is just been sped up and that makes me sad and it's weird. I'd have rather had speed, but with a slower, kind of more bouncier animation. Also, plasma. Just walk right through the plasma cloud. Also, you don't stop immediately, which is kind of nice. Gives you a feel of momentum. Don't know how it uh, holds up to being in space. Don't think too hard about the fact that th that background is just a flat image wrapped around the interior of a sphere. And that you're standing in the void, staring at unmoving dots on said sphere. Hi, not it's cars. It's about time. I lost your signal after you left the mining tunnels. Now you're coming in clear. Except I'm picking you up on the exterior of the facility. On the asteroid surface. That can't be right. I'm right outside the window. Huh? What are you doing out there? Walking. I'm going to the dorm. You're crazy. Even for a Jedi. Look, you need to get out of there, quick. What do you mean? What little is left of the facility's venting systems have gone active. Most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. They're venting Paragus fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. Can you shut them down? Why are the vents placed out here? That's just it. They're not supposed to be active when the airlock's opened. And not without the safety measures kicking in. The vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes, it's almost as if... My little droid friend is... Now what uh, now? Making trouble? I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in. Sending a docking code. I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, yeah, me too. I don't think HK-43 can be trusted. That ship looks like it's designed to ram things. That ship's full of deadums. Drax, is that you? You're in the wrong franchise, buddy. Shoo, shoo. You're also not supposed to, like, be killing everybody. Unless they're Ronan. Or Thanos. Or whoever else ticks you off, I guess. Boy, what happened to you? You've gone scrawny. You look like... Somebody took Drax and Kratos and mashed them together. What happened to you? Are you Malik? Did you somehow come back to life? Are you flying the ship from way over there? What's wrong with you? Oh, we're back to cutscene land. That was jarring. Also, big flaming hole in Paragus, because I remember this is a chunk of the planet because somebody did mining problems. It gonna start shooting at me, ain't it? Hi. I may have walked into plot relevance. Oh, is that the docking bay? <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, not Karth, you may want to get out here where it's safe. I don't know, but, uh, but, uh, Kratos in there does not look happy. Actually, he looked in like he was meditating, so I don't know if he was happy or not, but I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. There's also no door there where that's attaching. But, you know, sure, why not? And your ship bounced off. Hello? Well, that was a long, much to do about... Okay, take the control away from me again. He has come. Who is he? How... Where? Okay. Thank you. That was weird. I'm a waddle this way now. And I'm going to go down the scaffolding this time because it's a, pretty much a mirror of where I came in. This entire area is a symmetrical mirror of itself. I both approve and disapprove of that at the same time. If I was supposed to have to time that, then oops. Because apparently not. You just walk right through. Yay, I'm inside. Oh, hi. I'm sure there's a lot of droids in here for not supposed to have droids in here. 
loot. Anything else to loot? No. Two dead bodies and two droids and not a lick of loot anywhere. Ah, uh, are you dancing at me? I will smite you. Don't you dance at me. Don't you dance at me. You know what? You get blown up. Ooh, storage lock. <gasps> now the fire suppression systems have gone active and I can't even make it to the dorms. I watched the turrets turn their carbonite rays on Mabon before he even got halfway across the room. Fortunately, the range doesn't seem to go beyond the room itself, so I was safe in the corridor. Didn't have any range weapons to take him out from a distance, so I don't have a stealth generator to sneak across the room either. I tried unlocking the storage room door to see if there was any cold resistance items or grenades I could use, but the door was sealed. I don't have a sonic charge to blow it open. Still, as long as the droids don't make it into the section, I should be all right. Yeah, you, you're all right, buddy. Yay! Why are the lockers locked? Okay, hang on. Thank goodness they marked themselves as empty. This is exactly the situation where that would be confusing. Insulated gloves. I got gloves. That'll protect me from freeze rays. That's all you need to protect yourself from freeze rays. It's a good pair of gloves. Where's gloves? Yes. I don't know if they made a visual difference. Also workbench. I could make a sword, but again. Ah. Repair tin. So you need repair to make stuff. Fascinating. I don't want to waste my items, though. Ah. Automated fire extinguisher. I want to find out what happens. Nothing happens. They just look at me. Or now they decide they want to mess with me. You know what? Stop that. Stop that. Stop it. This, this was a very slow and uneventful fight. Will you attack? Do something. Thank you. Now about these mines. And people laughed at my demolition's ability and suddenly it became useful because there are mines everywhere. Also Malik, Sonic Discharge Cell. Don't know what that is, but I got it now. I go this way. Hi. You're stunned now. You're not stunned, but I'm gonna pretend you're stunned. I didn't click him. I clicked him. How many of you are there? I detect a problem with my current plan of attack. Is there? Nobody told me you could equip those things with that. Okay, hang on. That pack. Run faster. There we go. Okay. Yes, I know my queue is full. I'm, I'm doing this. Okay, one last droid. One less med pack. Stunning! Thank you. You ought not have Freezy Ray. A fire suppression droid. Okay. I am looting here. Ooh, a targeting scope. Level up. Yay! Skills. Security, persuade, awareness. I'd really like repair and demolitions, but I'll go with one computer use. Or You know we're gonna go with that. 
powers. Okay, I can't get any of them now. Uh, force body, force barrier, energy resistance. I mean, that actually seems like it would be a decent power. Let's see, I could use that. I really, really don't like that 36 seconds thing though, because, oh, that's tedious. I'm gonna try it. Wait. I mean, I'm gonna try energy resistance. There we go. Let's see how this do. I mean, it seemed useful in the last area of KOTOR 1 when I was, you know, being shot with lots of energy via lightsabers. You knock it off. There you go. Now about this console. Okay, log, give me a minute. We got spiders. We got spider problems. Can't do something. Cancels all your cued actions, apparently. Okay. Now, I'm gonna save real quick. No, 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 save. It reorders them. It's important for reasons because you never know when things could happen. Uh, reroute the main console system or slice the system. In dorm emergency lockdown. I got XP's. Yo, anybody alive in here? I want to go this way first. I know saving the people is important, but so is loot. Oh, you glorified flying basketball. I'm gonna smite you. Okay. There we go. I have smited you. I have smited you. Get rid of this fire extinguisher. I hit you. I heard it. I really want to use critical strike. I have flurry. Excuse me, I have flurry. Nobody told me I had flurry. Flurry! I'm a dying. Oh, there's so many of y'all. I'm out. There's too many of y'all in there. There's too many of y'all. You don't know where I'm at. You don't have a clue. Wow, that worked. Now has energy resist. Can one of y'all come out here and fight me? No. Oh, you're dead. Flurry! Flurry! Excavator droid, you're the one chucking grenades. There we go. Oh, other droid, you must be flurried. You must flurry. Flurry. Need to stop opening random doors. Why, why are there... I don't understand. I mean, it's free loot. I'm not complaining. I swear they're never going to get around to fixing the vent systems. And if the food processor's back up again, the next time the fumes start flooding the mess hall, I'll be dead rather than nauseous. Keep that breath mask here just in case we have a repeat incident. A breath mask, you'll say. Where? Are you telling me I have to make it? 
use the lab station. Or did I pick up the breath mask? Immunity to poison. I probably need that for the, uh, the dorms, don't I? See, isn't it a good thing I came here for? Is this poisonous? I should find out. Nope. All right, well, I'll put it back on when we actually come across some poison, because I want to be aware of it when I come across it. Why is there so much loot? Got another lecture about contraband today. Security hasn't started doing spot checks of our quarters yet, so, so, yet, so my cache in the lower bunk of my room in the eastern dorm should be safe. You don't even know it's there unless you know to look for it. Korda came around again asking if I had any special cargo, but I was getting a bad feeling about how he was asking, so I stayed quiet about my stash. I'm going to keep that blaster I smuggled from Telos and a few grenades in there just in case things get rough. Only benefit to having a room the furthest from the door is that it should buy me enough time to dump the contraband if security does do a surprise inspection. More survival kit. Why is that one not lootable, though? Like, why have it there? Why tempt me with what could be, but then not give me? Oh, hi, Corta. Mandalorian melee shield. It's all it looks like it needs to be plugged in in order to play back the contents. Okay. So where does this door go? Oh, it's locked. I almost missed a body. Bear. Camera logs. Almost didn't make it out of the dormitory section before the lockdown, you murglack. You're cutting a little close, aren't you? Yes, a regrettable miscalculation on my part. I'm contacting you because I'm picking up a subspace transmission from within that level. Is that your doing? No, they, they must be trying to use the old relay system to send an emergency signal. I doubt they know what's really going on. Hey, this turbo lift's locked down. Try the code again, and don't worry about the miners and their transmission. By the time help arrives, we'll be all the way to Nar Shada. Oh, they won't be leaving the dormitories. The explosion within the tunnel has damaged the ventilation systems, causing breaches in the core exhaust conduits. What? That's going to kill them all! Not all of them, but I'm sending a number of mining droids to your location right now to correct that problem. Kurda, this turbo lift's locked down. The sequence isn't working. Keep trying it! You! Why are you doing this? Why me? You? It was never about you. The Jedi is all that interests me. But then you had to ruin everything by revealing his identity and then trying to harm him. And that I cannot allow. Statement. You are a risk, Corda. You are impulsive, crude, and soon deceased. Hologram droids! Query. Corta, Corta, are you dead yet? Smug statement. I believe I forgot to mention that I reversed the turbolift codes. In case you managed to get this far. So what is the codes? Looks like you'll need to reverse it. Cool. Also, I suspect that the guy that he was talking to was HK and not him because he was saying some things just like HK would, and then it, at, like at the end of it, it was obviously HK. So one theory would be that they're both there, and the other theory would be that that was just HK projecting a false image the whole time. I'm gonna go this way, though. No, wait. Wait. I'm gonna go this way now. This way's probably nothing. I don't know. Oh. Is it open? Oh, hi. Flurry! Why are you hiding in here? Why are you hiding in here? Don't hide in here. Anyway, there's loot to be had. Large locker. Energy shield. My 
minor sonic detonate. Why did it show up on the droid? Fire restorative underlay. I know those are like upgrade items for like being slotted into equipment. Also, I like that that's actually, like, the map makes sense. There was a tunnel there, and it's collapsed, and you can see, like, it's, it's a collapsed hallway. Neat. I think I tried to loot that container, didn't I? I didn't. Fine. Blow it up. You will give me your contents. No loot left behind. That pack. I got med pack. Come on this way now. This is where presumably I'm gonna run into poison. You're not poison. Uh. Okay. How strange. You're poison. In theory. Hello, looks like it needs to be plugged in. Journal entry added. Oh, there it is. Okay. Breath mask. There we go. Am immune. First for logged hollow display entries. Oh my goodness, there's so Maybe much. the beginning of a long record. It's about oh, an hour after no. the facility suffered the explosion that triggered the emergency lockdown. Just finished helping the dock officer set up the transmission relay. Not much signal strength, but it's better than nothing. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13. Then the next two numbers are... Sir, couldn't we contact the med bay? Maybe the Jedi's awake. If so, he could help us. No good. The link to the medical computer was severed from the hub, just like the administration console. Even if the Jedi wakes up, how would we get the dormitory turbo lift code to him? Without it, the turbo lift to the administration level is locked down. Mm-hmm. We just took an inventory of our supplies. We've got enough emergency rations in the dormitories to last almost a month. But with all the problems in the facility, I don't know how long we'll last. I wish we could contact the Jedi. Maybe he could... Yeah, but no, he's still floating in that damn tank. Someone's played us for fools. And since Corda and his crew aren't locked in here with us, it's pretty clear who it was. If I ever catch up with that Mandalorian loving son of a... At least the air scrubbers are still working, even though they're tied into the... Hey, what's happening to the ventilation system? It's... <laughs> Everybody knows the last effect of poison is you just stand there and look blankly into the camera. And then everybody falls down. Everybody did the flop. Main functions. Insert minor holologue. Zero. Access entry. What did you want to talk to me about? I have to suit up and drill the 3219K asteroid claim within the hour, so talk quick. I heard you had plans for the Jedi. About selling him to the exchange. Yeah, but security already set their piece on that, didn't they? Nobody's getting sold to anyone. Are they? I've seen the logs you've been accessing. Maybe the two of us could work something out. It doesn't matter what we work out. We wouldn't make one hyperspace jump before what's left of the Republic was on us. If you have a way off this station, I can cover our tracks and ensure the Republic is not alerted to our presence. Well, I may know someone. Works this system on special jobs. He may want to know details, but I might be able to arrange transport. I've seen the logs. I know you've already asked him and given the details. Once he agrees, I can handle the rest. Handle the rest? Like how? When the time comes, I'll contact you via comm link. Maintenance out. Since <laughs> when the maintenance officer grows him horns. Okay, main functions. Quartz is hollow log. No, I've already done that. Mine administrator. No, that's the one I just watched. Main functions. Check transmission. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13. Then the next two numbers are... To the sticky note! 
Okay. Three, seventeen, thirteen. X equals five. Dots equal one, so X dot dot would be seven, and then reverse that. Okay, log out. Is there anything I can loot in here? Now where is that? There was the guy with the... Was it Eastmost Dorm, or...? Mr. Secret Stash. It's probably the one farthest in the corner, but I'm gonna loot them in order. Because if I don't, I'm gonna miss something. Oh, Medical Officer Corpse. He had a med pack. Hmm. Damaged door. I can fix that. Hit the first person button. Huh. I'm suspicious of that. Because there was the guy that said he had a. Reason history bonus mission. Rescue T3, Galactic History, Medical Bay. I did look in all of them, right? No, I didn't. There's one where it's like he had hidden it in his bunk, but it wouldn't know it's there unless you knew to look for it. So presumably, maybe you have to actually click it. Meh. He said he had the furthest east. What? I'm confused, uh, but I'm clicking through the data pad, mess hall log, breath mask here, minor log. Room farthest from the door, lower bunk, eastern door. Room farthest from the door, lower bunk, eastern door. Whatever. Like a little changing room. No, that's not a little changing room. I don't know. Oh well. Moving on with life. That is not where I'm trying to go. Now if I can find the door. Oh, there's more dorms over here. Oh, hi. You're dead. Broken log terminal. Locked foot locker. Gamma rean gauntlets. Physical damage plus four. They have no practical effect when wielding a weapon. Well, good thing I'm not punching droids. It does not end well. It ends in pain. I also see something over here. Refresher. Mine forming log. Oh. This isn't the one furthest from the door, though. Repeating blaster carbine. I like that I'm just casually wandering through this place full of dead bodies, only concerned about finding loot. It's complete. <laughs> Might not say very good things about me. Ah, oh, well, there's more loot to be had. Blow it open! Hidden compartment. Found you! 
blaster pistol. Too bad you didn't have a sword. Would be too much to ask for you to have hidden a lightsaber in there. This one's empty. This one's not. Just credits. How much credits do I have? Uh, 1,394, not bad. Broken terminal. Scavenge for components. Items received, components. Now why is it when you say items lost, you can't do the same thing? Okay, we got another hollow log, so let's go poke it into the machine. Uh, did I watch this? this? Maybe the beginning of a nope, just I already did that. Sir, no. Foreman. My name is Trader Silver Baracto Drun. It's been two days since the broken Jedi came to facility. Work efficiency down and fuel is backing up in vents, waiting for processing. The, flight, the fight frequency increases. Korta and his crew think we should take the Jedi, then split the many credits by selling Jedi to exchange. Try to convince me to join them. I want nothing to do with exchange. They are like a big violent family that do terrible things to outsiders who deal with them. But Korta does not care. In my mind, it's better letting Jedi go wherever Jedi wants to go. When Jedi get mad, they start big wars and set galaxy on fire. I had a careful, inoffensive talk with Korta and asked him not to make trouble with the Jedi. I remind him we were ordered to leave Jedi alone and we should follow orders, or facility will fall apart. My words had much sense, but Korta tell, got all angry in human face, then said facility is going to fall apart anyway. After talk, I listened to him talking to maintenance officer on comm. They're going to smuggle Jedi off Paragus. Why they do this? I'm thinking of repeating this to administration's officer, but that will cause more trouble, cause more inefficiency. What can I do? I heard last comm talk from Corda to maintenance officer. Maintenance officer said he has big plan for disabling station, leaving us all trapped here while me, he and Corda escape with Jedi. I'm still afraid of Corda, who is big, loud, and unreasonable. So I went to maintenance officer, who is smaller, more sensible, more salusta. I asked him why he make trouble with Corda. Maintenance officer crack eyebrow hair at me, pretend to not know what talking about, saying he not speak to Corda at all. Why all human lie? Can't wait any longer. Must. Your ears always were too big, CN. Come on, if the maintenance officer comes through on the explosions, these dorms are gonna be filling up soon. And shut that damn data pad off and throw it down the refresher. Oof. Uh, I think that's all of them. The transmission gives No, the dock officer. No, 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 dock officer. Did I do that one? We managed to get to the dormitories. We should be safe here. We've been trying to use the holo transmitter to beam a transmission to the administration level to end the lockdown. But the administration console has been severed from the main hub. Everyone thinks we should try to evacuate on our own as soon as possible. But there's no way to break the dormitory seals from the inside. I'm going to keep sending distress calls in the meantime. We've been trying to find a way to circumvent the lockdown and get to our hangar bay, but so far, no luck. Oh, God. The situation's worse than we thought. Even if we get out of here, we can't shut down the fuel depot force fields if a fuel leak was detected. If so, the only way off this asteroid is if a ship docks with us. But the only connection to the docking platform is on the administration level, and we can't get up to the docking bay while we're trapped here. I only hope someone survived the explosion in the mining tunnels. If not, then we're stranded here. Unless our transmission reaches a passing ship, or a Telos freighter. Oh, uh huh? Managed to use the holo transmitter here as a crude relay to beam short burst transmissions outside the Paragas facility. With any luck, the transmission will carry beyond the asteroid field. We've set the emergency transmission on automatic playback. We're using a simple military flash code to transmit the code to the turbo lifts, so maybe our rescuers can get down to the dormitory when they reach the station. Without those turbo lift codes, our rescuers wouldn't be able to get here from the administration level. And without those codes, we wouldn't be able to get to the administration level if we found a way out on our own. The messages are short distress calls only, since we can't get much signal strength. It's pretty weak, so unless a ship is actively searching the area, it might be a long time before a ship picks up the message. After all, who would be scouring frequencies way out here looking for trouble? Yes. Okay, so we know the code, we've got the thing, we looted the thing, we got more thing, and we go this way. This is where night speed would be nice, just for the speed of tra traversal. D magic door!
I'm just gonna go ahead and put the survey gear back on since I'm no longer in poison. Empty. Oh, I love that it tells me when they're empty. I'm going to put the code in the door, hoping that doesn't begin a cutscene unless I go through the door. Open door. Enter code in reverse. 7, 5, 13, 17, 13. So you're going to do it for me. Okay, well, at least I did it correctly. Yay. Yay. I got XP's. But, as much as I would love to continue, I'm going to go ahead and pause here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Also, sorry the episode was a bit long, but since we did the whole, you know, skip for Thanksgiving, it seemed appropriate. Also, I really wanted to play, so, uh, see you next time.